It's time to get up. Okay. Today we're getting ready to make a 600 mile journey. See if we can do it in one day from Reno to Idaho Falls. So let the adventure begin. And that's how we make the bed. 600 miles, here we go. This is scary. <laughs> yeah. Phew. All right, the funnest part is always getting the car on the trailer. Got it. Or the scariest part. <laughs> All right, she's on there. It. The minivan is hooked up and we are ready to hit the road. Oh, let's do this. All right, we'll see you later. So nice to meet you. Hang out. We got fudge for days. All right, so here we go. This is sometimes the hardest part because. Bye! <laughs> All right, what am I saying? All right, so we are about to hit the road. We are literally pulling out of the RV park. People running after us to say goodbye. Oh my God. The best thing about this RV life is the connections that you make. We've been at this RV park for about a year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. About a month. <laughs> oh I don't want to be in Sparks yeah. Nevada for a year. So we've been here for about a month. And we met so many amazing people that she just teared me up. Lori just teared me up. She's like, oh, she said I'm you guys old, are my spirit animals. She said I'm an old fart. An, an old, old snot. snot. <laughs> we have 600 miles ahead of us today. Six miles we haven't done that distance in a long time in probably like two years now that we're pulling out to do that I'm like Ooh, that's that's a long day. we're getting an early start it's 730 it's not as early as we wanted but 730 is better than noon which is typically what <laughs> high hopes and then they don't they don't have it so here we go Sometimes when you're getting ready to hit the road, it seems like it takes forever to get going, but you gotta fuel up, you gotta clean the windows, you gotta hook up the car, you gotta get everything going. And the last thing you gotta do is get your gasoline on. And no journey would be complete without some clean, ugh, some clean windows. And you always gotta make sure the logo's looking clean. Looks good to me. Let's go. Time to hit the reset Odometer. button. How you feel, babe? <laughs> All right, here we go. This is always uh, a mixed emotion. You're like, oh my God, we got this long drive ahead of us, but how cool, we got a new adventure. Kids are taking full advantage of travel day and already on their iPads. Are you glad we're on the road? All right, what's up, babe? All right, here we are 120 miles in. One of the bad things about driving so much when you gotta go, you gotta go. And right now, <laughs> right now, I gotta go to the bathroom. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> travel days. All right, what's up, babe? Oh my God, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Bye. Bye. All right, what's up, buddy? What are we doing here? What's going on here? Sandy, what's going on? Oh, yes, the first oh. little rest stop. Get our energy flowing, get our Juice is activated, get the blood flowing. Uh, you never know the treasures you're gonna find along the way. It looks like they found a plane, that's pretty crazy. Jeez, I don't know if I was flying that. I don't know. I have to see someone demonstrate first. A little, little, bit, of, little bit of duct tape holding this thing together here. But I don't know. <laughs> no, no guarantees. There's no guarantees. Well, the tires look slow too, so we gotta check the pressure. Yeah. All right, guys, everybody ready? Yeah. And away we go! Just 
funny when we're on these journeys because Sandy never gets to sit down for an eight hour journey. And I'm like, what are you doing back there? I don't know. I don't think she knows, but she's just always doing something. What are you doing back there? What happened? Okay, we're in the bedroom. And here is the car. So, right there, where is it? Right here, I saw something flapping around. And I said, what the hell is that out there flapping around? And it's the color of the strap. It's the neon green, I don't know if you can see it. Neon green color. So, I said, Jimmy, there, I think we have a problem because something is flapping on the side of the car. And I go, the only thing that it can be is the actual toe strap that holds the tire in place, straps it to the toe dolly so it doesn't go loose. So luckily, the driver's side tire was super tight and that literally held the entire car onto the toe dolly. So if anybody- I gotta go to the bathroom. So if anybody uses toe straps, make sure that they are constantly being checked, tightened and super secure. Jimmy, we never thought that would happen to us. Jimmy is a rock star with doing everything, and it happened. So, it's crazy. Where are you going? Oh, I'm going out to check the straps. <laughs> All right, we're 250 in. We gotta get out every once in a while. Stretch your legs, we're in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing out here but desert, trucks, and more desert. Man. Oh, you're just, oh, ah. oh God, ah. what happened? You got a wet armpit on you? Oh my God. <laughs> doing pretty good so far. I'm, not, I'm actually proud of myself. I'm doing good. That's all I got. All right, we're doing 32 miles an hour. I got this thing floored. 8,000 RPMs. We're about to blow the engine. But that's what happens when you got a 1999 Winnebago. Towing a 5,000 car, 5,000 pound car behind you. Sometimes we go a little slow. Watch this guy. Meow. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, we are almost there to the top. Let's see. There it is. Turn it, turn it. Woo! We made it. We made it over the hill. All right. So we see something ahead. Whoa. That the road goes right into the mountain. And I'm like, are we going through the mountain? So take a look at this. Yeah. Into the coming to the other side of the mountain. The lights at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> we made it. And what was really cool, the light at the end of the tunnel. And that's how we feel right now with this video course that we are almost done creating. Do you want to make crazy cool videos, but you don't know where to start? We've created an online video course that will take you from beginner to filmmaker. For the past 11 years, we've had a film business where we've created videos for major corporations, A-list celebrities, and million dollar weddings. But our biggest passion is creating videos for our YouTube channel, where we travel the world with our three kids and inspire others to think outside the box and try something new. We were getting hundreds of comments from people asking us how we make our videos, which inspired us to create this course, Future Filmmakers. This course will teach you everything you need to know, like what gear to get, how to use it, how to get those cool creative shots, no more shaky footage, how to edit like a boss, and how to create a successful YouTube channel. There's over 90 classes that'll help you become the filmmaker you're meant to be. We offer a private community for our filmmakers and we even offer monthly challenges to show off your new video skills. Our students are saying that this is the best and fastest way to create amazing videos. If you're ready to take your skills to the next level, click on that link below and get ready to try something new. All right, what's going on here? We had to stop for a little <laughs> gas break. Kids are vegging out watching. Are we there yet? No. Oh, oh, what is it? Are we done yet? Are we done yet? What are you doing over here? You little lazy bum. Sure. So a lesson you gotta learn and sometimes you gotta learn the hard way is you always wanna make sure you got enough gas. 
because a lot of times you're out here in the middle of nowhere, hundreds and hundreds of miles from the next gas station, and the last thing you wanna do is run out of gas. So usually when we get between a half a tank and a quarter tank, that's when we stop to fill back up. We've never personally ran out of gas, but we've heard many, many, many stories of many, many people who uh, ran out of gas in the middle of nowhere. You know what we gotta do? Every time we stop, we gotta check them straps. Check them straps, check them straps, check them straps. As we travel across the US, these little small towns just boggle us every time we come through it. Oh, man, I don't know, these people live out here. I mean, we're seriously in the middle of nowhere. Hundreds of miles from anywhere, and then pops up this little town with seven houses and one bar. And you're like, man, it's just bananas that people live out here. It is a nice day though, we can't complain. All right, so we didn't plan on passing through Utah today, but we're here. That's what the sign says. So this is something we never knew. We never stopped by the signs that say the places that we're going. We're going to Idaho and some reason we're in Utah. So I hope that we're going the right way. What do you guys think? Are we going the right way? Guys, guys, I think you're going the wrong way. Why are we in Utah? Remember when we went to Texas and we um and we stopped by the sign and then we were standing on that thing yes. and then there was rattlesnakes trying yes. to get us. All right, so it's a good thing that we filled up because if we wouldn't have filled up, we'd be sitting on a quarter tank of gas right now. And as you can see from the sign behind me, we got a hundred miles till the next services on this rickety ass road out in the middle of nowhere in Utah when we're supposed to be going to Idaho. Let's we'll see what happens. Oh, getting some shots, you know. Did you get it? Oh no, they're pretty cool. All right, not only did we make it to Utah, we also made it to Nevada. Oh Perfect, mommy got it, yay, let's Woo! get out of here. Every once in a while, you gotta take these breaks, get the energy levels back up, break the crust off of sitting for eight hours. That's good. All right. Oh, nice and tight. All right, and away we go. I think I'm starting to wear a little bit. Uh oh. I'm starting to wear a little uh -oh. bit, Sandy. What do you think? More fudge. Uh -huh. More fudge. I might need some more energy drinks. Let's go for round three. Gotta keep the focus going. Right. We happened? missed our exit. And Jimmy said he thinks we did this last time that we went this way. So hey. I hate to go backwards. Look over here. Ah! Oh yeah. It's a pretty big drop off. The GPS girl failed the job right now. But we're back on track. Up. Sandy says I look like crap, so I gotta clean myself up, put on my hat. I'm sure I'm all greasy and nasty by now, but <laughs> here we go, <laughs> making a U-turn. Get back on the way that we just came from. I love that, that's my favorite part of traveling. Going back the way you just came. Getting hot and tired. Got four hours left. Can we make it? I don't know. That's how we roll when you try to through. So I have been dying to do some drone shots out here. We're driving along the road, there's nobody out here. We're in the middle of nowhere. And I keep looking for a spot to pull over. It took me 20 miles to find a spot to pull over, but I finally found one out here in the middle of nowhere. And uh, I would love to have about 80 more drone shots for this video, but we're only gonna get this one. What do you say, Rye? I wanna fly it. Okay. Got a satellite? All right, we got, con oh, we got connection. Yay, okay, I feel better now. Not that I'm the devil's advocate, but you know, we've seen something happen before. And I called it, and it happened. So, I'm gonna be optimistic this time. battery warning and we're beeping. Woo! All right, we got some great shots. I can't wait to check them out. I just checked the straps again. Right, what's going on, babe? All right, so we pulled over to get some cool drone shots. 
Everything went amazing. We get back in the RV and won't start. I left the lights on, but I don't think that would have been enough to drain it over 10 minutes. So now we got to figure out how we're going to get this thing started out in the middle of nowhere. Are we going to like be out in the middle of nowhere? So we got this button right here called the mom button. And what always saves your butt is mom. I don't know what mom stands for. That little button right mom, there always mom, saves mom. the day. Thanks mom for saving the day again. Let's get on the road before we get stuck out here. No problem, I gotcha. <laughs> Skylar, tell me, how many miles have we driven so far? Four hundred. Miles! Woo! 400, y'all! 400! <laughs> Awkward! Cricket! Awkward! Cricket. I'm, bringing, I'm bringing out my 90s gangsta. Bro, what's up? Oh. Oh. We made it to Idaho! No, 100, I don't even know how many miles left anymore. Two hours. Two hours. 120 miles. We got this. We're driving into the sunset right now, so as you can see, kind of blinding. And our visors don't go down any further. <laughs> it's getting more green though. So we just hit 500 miles. That's the milestone, right? But we've been on this road for about an hour, hour and a half, and there's been nobody coming behind us or nobody coming in front of us, which is absolutely crazy. Good job. We have all the windows open. I'm just past the cow farm. Oh my god. It's the most disgusting smell I've ever smelled. And I'm really hungry, so I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I'm starting to get a little loopy. I got some country music blasting now. And uh, it looks like I underestimated the drive by about 60 miles. So we're gonna be going 660 miles today. We've got about 80 miles left to go. And that drink at the end of this drive is gonna feel real good. Oh my God, what the hell's going on? We are just passing 600 miles. 600 miles! Like I said before, I underestimated this a little bit. We're going about 660, so we have to do another hour of this crap. We really don't like driving when it starts to get dark. It's really hard to see. The focus level has to go up six times. I'm exhausted. My shoulders hurt. My eyes hurt. I'm all foggy. Now, after he said all that, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> He's foggy. His eyes hurt. Everything hurts. Guys, did you hear that? God. We're one minute away, guys. We made it 1030 at night, 643 miles. Oh, my God. Ryder, how are you feeling, buddy? Tired. I know, that was but I, but I, it was super happy that we did that because I got to play on my iPad. <laughs> All right, we did it, guys. High five. <laughs> Night registration, that's us. Show all the bugs. So they want to walk in this pitch black RV park. We have no idea where we are. We've never been here. So no, they are not walking to try to find us. What? I feel like jello. You look like jello. When we stopped there to check in, I thought I was still moving. I had to put my foot on the brakes. <laughs> Late, so we gotta be quiet because everybody's can hear us. All right, this is some BS we're talking about right now. It's 11 o'clock at night out here. I gotta be real quiet, that's why I'm whispering. But I wanted to show you guys what happened out here with our straps. Remember earlier 
Ooh, lost my light. Remember earlier, we said we gotta make sure the straps are on point. Look at this nonsense. So as you can tell, the strap is completely off the car. So once again, we drove here with one strap, one wheel bolted onto the car. Man, I don't even know what's going on with these straps. This stuff is killing me. It's the second time and the second trip that we've had our straps fall off. We are so lucky our car didn't fall off. About three hours ago, Sandy goes, the driver's side looks a little loose. I was like, oh, we'll be all right. We're not all right, so if you're rolling with straps, you gotta check them straps a little more often. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to YouTube. It's hard to do from TV. And make sure every day you try something new.